wonder if pyrographic might work or how it works. Turn your face to the right. Do you believe the body has self-healing qualities, Jeannie? I do. Yeah, me too. That's how chiropractic works. We're working with the healing systems deep inside of you. And when everything's lined up, you'll stand your best chance of being and staying healthy. So I'm going to go about the process of aligning your spine. Is this or this tender when I touch here or here? No. How's this in the middle? No. Okay. And sometimes they wonder if it would hurt to get adjusted. Does, does this hurt? No. All right. Most of us have suffer from chronic lower back pain, and I'm feeling with my hands, and she has vertebrae that are out of alignment. And scientists call that a vertebral subluxation. And I'm checking her hips. I want to make sure that her hips move in and out easily. And she's got a hip that's a little limited in mobility. And I'm going to go ahead and work on the muscles in her legs and get her hips working more fluidly. She has limitation of motion here, so I'm going to work with the muscles. They guide the hips. And I'm going to check her lower back and check the muscles in her back. And I'm working with a handheld instrument that puts out an impulse of 40 hertz. And that's the body's core frequency. We, we all vibrate at about 40 hertz deep down inside. Bring your head in the middle. And I'm feeling the muscles in her neck and shoulder. And like most of us, she has some tension in this area. So I'm going to work on getting rid of the tension in her shoulders and work on the knots that most of us have in and around the shoulder region. And I'm checking for mobility in her neck and the joints, the little joints that hold up her head, where there's a lack of movement, and I'm, I'm instilling movement deep in the joints, and she can feel that, but it doesn't hurt, I'll point out. I want to make sure her neck is moving properly. I'm going to use a handheld instrument to vibrate the bones and get them moving more normally, where there's restriction and limitation. I'm going to vibrate the bone back in place and get it working normally again. And her body is well designed and is a self-healing system. But sometimes bones will get stuck out of place from previous traumas, from jerks and jolts and slips and accidents over a lifetime. And we can suffer and struggle unless we get adjusted, unless we get the bones put back in place again. Go ahead, turn your face to the right, because the audience is wondering what it might feel like to visit a doctor of chiropractic. What does it feel like? Yeah, what does it feel like? They're wondering. Well, it, it feels there's no pain right. when Dr. V is doing his application, and, and I'm totally relaxed. And I've noticed that since I've been coming, I do not have the pain in my lower back or my hip or thigh or calf or foot anymore. And I have the mobility of sitting, getting up from sitting and standing without that pain. Hot stuff. I'm going to work with a handheld instrument. Okay. We're giving each new patient on their second visit a special acrylic massager yeah. that they could use at home. And I'm rubbing the muscles on the sides of the spine, and we're inviting patients to come in with a friend, relative, or loved one and see how well this works. How does that feel? It feels good. And I'm going to work the muscles over the hip that guide the hips. And bring your head into the middle. And relax, Jeannie, and relax. And I'm going to work the muscles, the little muscles in the neck. And you can use this acrylic massager on the shoulder region because most of us 
have tight muscles in the shoulders from stress and overexertion and fatigue. And I'm going to work the muscles in the mid and upper back. And that probably feels like the best thing that's happened all day. Yes. Here we go. And it's not hard to do. And we're giving out these for free to patients on their second visit at our center. Is there anything else that you'd like examined in particular today? Not today, Dr. V. All right, I'm going to lift you up, and you'll feel yourself move up again. Take a deep breath in, and take a step back when you're ready. And a lot of people, as you might know, are afraid to get adjusted, afraid to visit a doctor of, of chiropractic. They, they don't know what they don't know. And what would you tell someone who is a little timid about it? seeking care. I would say, don't be afraid. Okay. Um, because when I was suffering from this pain, I couldn't wait to rush in to have this taken care of. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's basically painless. And within a short amount, or maybe an extended amount of time, that you're going to get some relief from what's bothering you. Okay. So there's nothing to be fearful about at all. Well, great. How long did you have the problem? You know, I had it for about two or three days. Okay. And I couldn't, you know, I, I couldn't get up out of bed without that pain. I couldn't sit down. And I knew I had to have something done. Did you have ongoing problems over the years? Uh, prior to that, I had a similar problem, which I came to you. But it wasn't as severe as this, this last time. Do we work with Medicare at this center? Yes, we do. Was it convenient? And it's very convenient. It made me very happy. The staff is wonderful. Dr. V, even though you, you know, you, you do what you'd have to do, but I believe it's just your demeanor, your professionalism, and just your, how you, you make a patient feel comfortable. And it's just, I think that's part of the healing process. And it makes me feel good. Well, you're a delight to work with, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you've responded yeah. extremely well. Thank and you. I'm reaching out to the people who are reluctant to start care for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. There's certainly nothing to fear. It's very comfortable, very safe. Mm -hmm. And you could get a lot of relief and avoid a very lot much. of pain. Very much. There's nothing to be reluctant about.